It's March 20, 2017, and it's time to review five of the most outrageous, infuriating, or just plain baffling things that have happened lately. It's your Face Palm 5. Let's count them down. Number one, Republican representative doubles down on racist remarks. Steve King, Republican member of the House of Representatives from Iowa's 4th District, recently tweeted that he agreed with far-right Dutch politician Geert Wilders that, quote, we can't restore our civilization with somebody else's babies. He subsequently appeared on CNN and said, I meant exactly what I said, adding that he wants America to look homogenous. Sure, homogenous, I get it. Like, uh, say, this gallon of homogenized milk. Just like that. King is a racist and always has been, but what he also is, is up for re-election next year. So what do you say, people of Iowa's 4th District, maybe show up to the polls on November 6, 2018 and vote for somebody else. Maybe Kim Weaver. Number two, Trump care would leave millions uninsured, could leave thousands dead. Last week, the Congressional Budget Office released its report on the Republican health care reform bill. The CBO concluded that Trump care would result in 24 million more people without health insurance by the year 2026 compared to the Affordable Care Act. An analysis based on the CBO numbers by Think Progress suggests that 17,000 more people would die as a result of Trump care next year alone. Paul Ryan left that bit out of his PowerPoint presentation, but make no mistake, he knows, he just doesn't care. Number three, EPA pushes climate change denialism. Hey, did you know that Scott Pruitt, the head of the Environmental Protection Agency, is a climate change denier who tells lies about climate science, like human carbon emissions aren't driving global warming? <laughs> well, he is, and he does. He went on CNBC week before last and did that very thing. Climate scientists disagree with Pruitt, and you know who else? The agency he's the head of, the EPA, which states on its website that global warming is mostly caused by human emissions of greenhouse gases, of which carbon dioxide is by far the most common. Why would someone so willfully ignorant of climate science be selected to lead the EPA? Well, it might have something to do with this next one. Number four, executive order aims to hobble executive branch. Trump issued an executive order calling for the executive branch to be reorganized, which would include the elimination of agencies deemed to be unnecessary. So when some of us wondered if Trump was appointing such grossly unqualified people to his cabinet in order to thwart the missions of their various agencies, it turns out we were right, but we might not have gone far enough. Trump isn't merely undermining the EPA or the Department of Education. He's starting down the road to eliminating them altogether. And now the segment devoted to some of the other things Donald Trump has done recently to disgrace the presidency and embarrass and or endanger the United States and the rest of the world. It's number five, the further misadventures of Lord Dampnut. Please keep in mind as always, the following is not a complete list. He missed a deadline to provide Congress with evidence for his charge that President Obama ordered wiretaps on Trump Tower, then told Fox News that he based the charge originally on some stuff he read in the media. He released his first budget, which eliminates the National Endowment for the Arts, the National Endowment for the Humanities, eliminates funding for the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and also threatens funding for many state programs, including after-school lunch programs and Meals on Wheels. He issued a new Muslim ban, which was also struck down by a federal court before going into effect. He told supporters in Tennessee that the new ban was just a watered down version and he wanted to go back to the first one. And he stopped by the grave of Andrew Jackson and promised to build on Jackson's legacy. Yeah, we know. Oh, and for the last couple of days, he's been acting like maybe he kinda sorta wants to start a war with North Korea. All hell or damp nut. That's five. Speak out, act out, resist, and look after each other.
Hey folks, hope you found this one worthwhile. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron for as little as $1 a month. But if you pledge at levels higher than $1 a month, you earn some extra perks. For instance, if you pledge at $5 a month, you can get yourself a shout out at the end of the Face Palm 5. So check it out. I didn't get any new $5 pledges lately, so I don't have anybody to shout out this week. But you could be the next one. So, you know, if you can afford it, you think I'm worth it? Chuck five bucks my way. I'll say your name. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.